You're watching UNICEF Television. The Keika is a small Bedouin community that sits on sandy desert hills. It is located at the far end of Area C of the West Bank, a mere 70 meters from the Green Line, the 1949 armistice line with Israel. The village is under full Israeli control. Like most communities in Area C, the 300 residents of the Keika have no electricity, no piped water, no infrastructure, and no playground. The village can only be reached after making it up a four-kilometer rocky path, accessible only to four-by-four vehicles, a luxury Bedouin families can rarely afford. They are also at greater risk of violence and demolition of their homes. Despite these challenges, Dekeka has one school that serves 45 students in grades 1 through 6. But it, too, was not spared a demolition order from the Israeli authorities. In response, the community sought legal aid from an Israeli organization called Rabbis for Human Rights, and in October of last year succeeded in freezing the demolition order. Yet a newly added classroom was not included in the freezing of the demolition order. Twelve-year-old Rana Najadeh remembers. The Israeli army came to demolish our class, fifth grade class. I ran out of class and found my younger brother Suleiman crying and all the children were crying. I started comforting them. After the demolition ended, we started studying in the open air and we continued our school year without classes. With Islamic relief worldwide, UNICEF rehabilitated the school to enable children to learn, develop and grow to their full potential. We try to equip children in this area who are facing difficulties with skills that will help them overcome their psychosocial distress. Some of the problems we witnessed among these children include low scholastic achievement, lack of concentration in class, and nightmares. In partnership with YMCA and funding from ECHO, the European Commission Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection, UNICEF provides psychosocial sessions for children and their caregivers through dance, drama, arts, and play. In partnership with ECHO and YMCA and the Psychosocial Project, UNICEF is able to help children, like those living in the remote Bedouin area of Dakaika, to overcome their difficulties and to maintain their coping abilities. Sometimes, for children, it's simply the opportunity to play and to have fun, to be a child in a safe environment. Often, counseling is involved. In the end, the Psychosocial Project is important for children to have a sense of stability, normality, and the opportunity to reach their potential. UNICEF and its partners is committed to ensure that children like Rana and her brother Suleiman will be given the necessary tools to cope with the conflict and violence that affect their daily lives and to have a chance at reaching their full potential. This is Anya Baron reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.